All right, this really quick tutorial will show you how to do a zoom within DaVinci Resolve. Before I say that, I do want to warn you that as you zoom in here, you will lose resolution. So try to shoot it with a really high resolution camera or the best thing to do is get it correctly on set, which would be putting your camera on a slider or a dolly or something like that. So within DaVinci Resolve, you have your inspector open on the upper right hand corner here. Let's say I want to start my zoom right here on this screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to get a bit closer of a shot of the girl in the right of the screen here. Click on the little square over here to where it says zoom and also click on the position underneath it because I'm zooming and changing the position at the same time. Now I'm going to move my letter up here and let's say that's where I want to be in nice and close on her. I can then just click over where it says zoom and what I'm doing is I'm just left clicking on my mouse and I'm zooming in. I want to change the position, same thing, I'm just left, left clicking over the mouse and I'm moving it a bit to the left. If I want to bring it down a little bit, a little bit, so now we've got her nice and close and let's back it up. We're starting and we're zooming in really quick there. Now, normally I would probably do this much slower, but I do want to show you how it's done for the purpose of this video. Okay, so we're in on her. We want to hold on her for a little while while she speaks, and let's say bring it back out to where it was before. So as you can see, what I was doing there is I was moving position on my timeline. You can do the click and drag if you want, or what's just much quicker, just click into it and type in one for zoom, zero for your X and Y positions, hit enter, and that's going to be back where you started. So let's play it again. Zooming in, stopping, zooming out. Now let's say I wanted to hold on it for a little bit longer. Okay, how you can do that is I've got my starting point here. So again, I'm going to click on my squares. That's my starting point. Now I want to move the cursor to where I want to be in on her and I'm going to once again just click with my mouse and move the image where I want it to be. Good. We're in. Okay. We're staying on her. Now notice what I'm doing here is I'm moving the timeline. Nothing's changing. What I'm going to do is click on those squares again. So that's basically telling it between this place and this place, I want to stay on that. And then I want to now zoom back out. And we'll just go one and zero. Now what I'm going to do is kind of show you what this looks like. So down here, you see you have this little graph. Voila, click on that. And notice it's telling me all of those marker points. What's nice about this is you can then grab it and move it around. So let's just get rid of this first sample. I just highlighted it with the pointer and deleted it. So now the second one here, we move over. We're starting here, we're staying, we're staying, and then we're moving back. That's pretty much it. You can do this, however, without using the inspector. So as you can see, I have all that same functionality within here. So once again, let's, highlight, let's delete. I'm going to click on the little square, click down here, Notice what it did is it added that marker. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to click it again. Let's do it two more times. And four. Now watch what's going to happen here. I can grab it and move it around. And notice it's going to change those positions. So you can do your zooms here as well. And what's nice about this is notice we have these other options here. This is going to create what's called easing in and easing outs. Basically what an ease is, is if you noticed when I did it real quickly, and I'll just show you an example. So it just kind of, it does it really harsh, it moves really harshly. Get rid of all of these other ones. And by throwing a little bit of an ease on it, 
Let's get this on the main screen so you can see it. It causes it to just move a little bit smoother. And it's kind of hard to tell because I'm doing this really quickly because I want this tutorial to be a quick one and not a super long one. Hi. But notice that there it kind of slows down before it moves to the other portion. And the reason why it's moving around is if you see here, I've also have the position selected. And what I'm doing down here is I'm moving just the zoom. I'm not moving the position. If I want to change that and mess with other positions, you click this little drop down here that you saw me click. And it gives me options of messing with those positions as well. And now see, we've got an extra set of lines here. So one is going to be my zoom line. The other is going to be my position selections. So that's just real quickly, real, real quickly on how to do this. Maybe at some point I'll do another tutorial where I play with it some more and get into some more complicated stuff. But I just wanted to show you how to do a zoom in and zoom out. And that's how you do it.